We've all heard this by now. Play to earn is dead. The future of crypto gaming now is play and earn. And I agree with this 100%. But can scholars still fit in this new model? The answer is yes. Let's talk about it. You're watching Najaf Plays Journey Through Alluvium. I'm going to compare two games, Axie Infinity and Alluvium. Axie Infinity started the play to earn hype and remains the most played game on the blockchain. Alluvium is widely recognized as the first AAA game on the blockchain and focused on a play and earn economy instead of play to earn. Let's start with a real world example. I go out and buy myself a shovel. I go to a field and I use that shovel to dig up some metal from the ground. I then take that metal and craft some more shovels. Now that I have more shovels that I can't use myself, I need to hire more people to spend the time to use those shovels to dig up more metal. Repeating the cycle of crafting new shovels, hiring new diggers, all with the intention of crafting more shovels to dig up more metal. Do you see where this is going? As long as new people want to enter this cycle, things are all good. But the whole thing falls apart when there's so much dug up metal and people just don't want to make new shovels. This is what Axie Infinity and other play to earn games work like. The shovel is the Axie, the diggers are the scholars and players, the metal is the SLP, and the crafters are the managers breeding new Axies. This system falls apart because the game isn't engaging enough to be worth the player's time if they're not making money from it. Now there's a lot more to it, but this is how it works on a macro level. And if you think about it, this model doesn't work in the real world, so why would we expect it to work in crypto? A scholar in GameFi is very similar to an employee in the real world for a real business. They collect the paycheck and therefore are extracting monetary value from the system. This doesn't destroy the business in the real world, so why would we assume that it's going to destroy a game on the blockchain? See, the employees use their skills and time to provide value, and they're not part of a closed loop. The value they bring saves the consumers time and effort. An employee at a restaurant gets paid because the consumer is willing to pay a little bit extra for their food so that they don't have to make it themselves. Makes sense, right? Now let's take a look at an improved model. A model that does work in the real world. You start with a shovel and dig up some metal. But here you realize it's not just common metal like iron. You also find gold and silver. The iron is used to craft more shovels, but the gold and silver have much more value. In this system, we have consumers that are willing to pay for that gold and silver so that they don't need to go out and dig it up themselves. New shovels are crafted and diggers are hired, but these diggers are doing an important job using their time and skills that others don't want to. In this model, the diggers are playing a fundamental role in the ecosystem. This is how businesses work in the real world. Now in Alluvium, the shovel are the fuel and shards used to travel and catch the alluvials. The workers are the scholars and overworld players who go out and catch the alluvials. The metal is the alluvials and harvestable resources, and the crafters are the investors. But there's one more component here, the consumers. And these are the competitive players and the collectors who are willing to buy and hold these alluvials without intention to sell for a profit. The reason this works is because of the utility of each asset, and most importantly, the quality of the game. In play to earn the scholars are part of an endless cycle, spiraling down as time goes on. But in play and earn the scholars play a crucial role in a healthy ecosystem, doing the job that some others don't want to do. In addition, their time can help keep asset prices stable, giving more competitive players an opportunity to enter the game and be competitive. I'm very confident Alluvium will, if not already, be the front-running crypto game with its play and earn model. The private beta is out, and I've been fortunate enough to be one of the first people to play the game. And I can tell you firsthand, the gameplay and graphics are phenomenal. And the scary part is, this is just one small mode with a limited roster of Alluvials that rotate in and out of your deck daily. Once we can all get out in the overworld and build our own deck of alluvials, it will become even more addicting. Especially knowing that we have real ownership of these alluvials that are scarce and hold real world value. Alluvium is not built on dead land. It's built on top of a world rich with resources that everyone wants to get their hands on. Whether you're an investor, a casual gamer, a competitive gamer, or a scholar, there will be a place for you in this game and it will support the ecosystem as a whole. Scholarships do not mean play to earn. The core contributors of this game know that play to earn is unsustainable, but they also know that scholarships can and will play a role. As time goes on, we'll have a better idea of how exactly scholars do fit into this ecosystem in a healthy way that supports the growth of the game. But I can confidently say there is a place for them. At the end of all my videos, I say this quote, luck happens when preparation meets opportunity. I've prepared myself by getting a good understanding on how scholarships function with the rise and fall of Axie Infinity last summer and more recently Fancy Birds. I've also created a Discord 
where I can interact with other managers and scholars and talk all this stuff through. You're all welcome to join that Discord. I'll have the link in the description down below. But Alluvium is the opportunity, and I will be jumping in on that as soon as I possibly can. And I will share my experience with you and anything I've learned. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of it.